also making the splash on Wednesday. An invigorated ex-North Islander now in the stable of Neil Ridley in the time-honoured stewards down the 1200 metre chute. We're talking about the horse just in behind Prince Oz and he buried them. Well, look how well he's travelling too. These are some of the better sprinters in the country. Pram Queen wasn't that far off them in Brisbane over the winter carnival and he just slices through there and he wins again and he, he's untouched. It's just a staggering story. Eight in a row down south. Group three stewards, group three stewards win and wow. Probably one thing I don't think anybody saw coming in the last three or four years is I can't believe I'm about to say this. <laughs> the renaissance of the South Island Sprinter. What? What like signify telegraph, Enzo's lad telegraph, and then a horse comes out like that and just thrashes in the stewards. Like, when you think of South Island racing, you don't think about speed machines. Not too much. Not since the days of Canterbury Bell. And I think Peter and Dawn Williams had a good sprinter 10 years ago, but I think they were living in the north by then. It's just not something you naturally relate. Loader. But they, you loader, exactly. They're flying they have, view, flying view, there's another one. Well, I mean, but these horses are winning serious races. Yeah. They so, sort of, are they all tad underrated? The South Island Sprinters, it's not like they're... they're well, obviously they are, because they, yeah, they're, they're winning. Up, and they're winning at big odds. Like, he, he wasn't huge odds the other day, but um, consecutive winners, let's talk about these winning streaks, because they're really hard to put together. And admittedly, it's probably a little bit easier in the South Island early doors, but there's the big names, and they don't come much bigger than some of these. Um, New Zealand have bred consecutive wins. Desert Golden Gloaming, we all know. Main Brace, Carbine. The big fella, of course. Limerick's one I haven't heard as much about Bruce. I'm no, saying. I couldn't, couldn't play well, some of the time. No, um, super, super easy. easy was Obviously was in Singapore. Mm. He's standing at starting out at Hallmark, who had a good day yesterday. Kindergarten, of course. And some of the old timers tell me he was as good as they come. So, look, he's... It's sort of a different list, though. We're talking about an ex-North Islander that's gone south and raked up seven in a Correct. row. And, and it's... I mean, in case you haven't noticed, uh, Neil Ridley is a asterisk, asterisk, Ascaris sort of stable any time he takes horses to the races. A, a great horseman. He's been three Grand National winners, over 100 winners over the hurdles and uh, 300 on the well, flat. So he's no, no and slouch. And it's very viable to send a horse from the north to the south because if you target the major carnivals, the Price stakes are basically good, yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. And a $10,000 maiden at Gores is no, is no different to a $10,000 maiden at Tiara. Mm -hmm. That is probably easier to win. That's the idea behind it.